If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. My favorite, in my opinion, underutilized mechanic in Magic the Gathering is, I've heard it referred to as Super Trample, I've heard it called Rocks Blocking, that's my preferred name. It's where, as you've seen in cards like Rocks for instance, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. And if that sounds like unblockable, you're, you're mostly right. A lot of times you can use this on the final swing, in which case it basically is unblockable. Uh, they're, they're not going to have a chance to return the damage anyway. But it's supposed to be balanced a little bit by your creature doesn't assign damage to the creature that's blocking it, and therefore it will die in the process. That's the idea. This was a green form of evasion, I suppose. Well, n not evasion. It is evasion. It actually is. Um, like blue has flying, for instance, or white has protection from X, or X is whatever. Uh, however, lately you may have noticed it hasn't been seen. It hasn't been seen a lot. There are, let's see, Death Coil Worm, Gerzagost, okay, Lone Wolf, Predatory Focus, Pride of Lions, Rocks, of course. Sage Behemoth, Spinebiter, Thorn Elemental, Tornado Elemental, and Wolf Pack. Those are the only green ones in the game. Uh, only one of those, Predatory Focus, is not a creature. The rest of them are. The only other card that works this way is a red card called Outmaneuver. And it's not a creature, it's an instant. That's it. Everything else is green, so this was supposed to be a pretty dedicated portion of green's color pie. However, the newest one that I mentioned there that's been in standard was Spinebiter, and that was back in 2011, May of 2011, I think. So that's more than six years ago since we've seen one in standard that has this mechanic. And there's actually a reason for that. Uh, if you go on to Mark Rosewater's Tumblr called Blogatog, he answers questions from not everyone. I've asked him questions. I've never gotten one answered. Maybe it's because, as he says, there he gets a ton of questions every day. Or maybe it's because these particular questions he couldn't answer, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but if you ever want to know something about the game, if you want to learn about it from an insider's perspective, check out Blogatog. Browse it, and if you don't see an answer, ask him a question. Uh, so, somebody asked him, why hasn't there been more creatures, so it says hasn't, uh, with Super Trample a la Thorn Elemental and Rocks? My guess is limited design space, but it was really fun back in the day and seems keywordable. His response is, it isn't something we want to do enough to keyword. Now, if you only had this answer, you'd think, well, it's that's just an answer to not keywording it. It isn't something we want to do enough, and so we haven't gotten to the point where we want to give it a keyword. Uh, for example, if you have a card, you only have one card in a set that features a given mechanic, you don't give it a keyword. Um, if you want to come up with a new mechanic, or even an old mechanic, that's not something you do. Um, for, for good reason, if a number of cards in a set have the same keyword, it then becomes more memorable than if just one card has it. Uh, but also, another one asked, Red Toolbox asked, You've said that green doesn't get evasion, but isn't trample also a kind of evasion? It lets your creatures deal damage despite blockers after all, and his response of course is, The kind of evasion green gets is trample. Now that answer is tr true but incomplete. Green does get other forms of evasion. It gets lure effects, for instance, like I think it's called Taunting Elf, the one that when it attacks, all of your opponent's creatures have to block it. You can think of it as unblockable for all but one creature. Or, what's another one? The kind that you see on um, some of the Avacyn Restored creatures, and, and we've seen it since, where Champ... Oh, I can't think of its name. Three mana, green human, uh, Creatures with power less than its cannot block it. Uh, that sort of thing is a form of evasion as well, but these are all combat related, whereas, say, 
White can get just protection, just sneak right on through. Blue can get flying or unblockable. Uh, and we've seen even in standard that colors like black can get skulk as well as blue. Uh, and then red gets direct damage. <laughs> uh, these are all supposed to be different portions of green's color pie, but I certainly like that previously green got this form of evasion. Um, and he goes on, as someone else, I don't know if that's an I or an, a lowercase l, asked, You're do you've done flying in green from Alpha to the last ones we saw in Dragons of Tarkir, da 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 da. Why don't you do flying in green? It's green using creatures to interact, especially block. He says that it's caused standards, uh, problems in standard, like Hornet Queen, which I would argue is not so much for the flying, but for the flying and death touch. Put those on the same card and then make a number of them. I think that's more specific to Hornet Queen than flying on green creatures, but notwithstanding, he goes on, one of the major reasons for the color pie is to differentiate the colors to make them play differently from one another. Fair enough, there's a difference between a game like Magic and, say, Yu-Gi-Oh, for instance, where the different types and different attributes are barely mechanically differentiating each other, one from another. Not so much here in Magic, we pretty solidly differentiate them. I don't like how strictly it's enforced, but that's like my opinion, man. <laughs> uh, green isn't an evasion color, and here's where the rubber meets the road. Because it has the mana ramping and the better creature curve. It wins creature combat by getting bigger creatures out more quickly. Making green more like the other colors would only lead towards it feeling less unique. So the idea is that because get green gets to get bigger creatures and sooner, it doesn't need to have these forms of evasion. Your evasion is your creatures are so big. But if you if you take a look back at, say, rocks, for instance, as I go back to it, that may not be the best example. Um, it's a 5-5 five, five for 6 mana. That seems a little under curve. Uh, it has regenerate and it has rocks blocking. Oh, what's a better example? 5 mana for a 4-4 four, four in Pride of Lions, or as I'm just going back on through, Lone Wolf 3 mana for a 2-2 with it, it puts them under curve to have this ability. But I, I don't get a say in it. <laughs> I like that we have one with Infect as T1 Glistener Elf, I have to certainly respect that. And some of these are modern playable. If you want to, you can try to make them work in modern. Feel more than free to give it a shot. It's a, I think it's a great mechanic. I just wish we got to see more of it. Personal opinion, if I could design a card just to get another one of these into standard again, I might very well pick this mechanic. And plus I can call it rocks blocking. You can call it super trample as well. Yeah, let, let's go with that instead, just for PR purposes, right? Alright, and I will see you later. Take care, Magic Community. Bye-bye.